I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have my September boxy charm. I was really excited when I opened my box this month. So the theme is wildflower. I never understand the themes. So the first thing in here is from Pretty Vulgar and this is the Nightingale Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. First of all, the packaging just stole my heart. So you've got this fabulous palette with a nice big mirror and beautiful, beautiful smoky colors. I love the palette. I love the colors. The actual eyeshadows themselves are pigmented and soft. They blend out beautifully. I love the color scheme. You've got some brown bronzy colors as well as some gray silvery colors, a nice taupe a nice matte cream color, as well as a shimmery cream color. It's almost white, really. And then a slightly darker beige. I don't know what the heck color that is. But anyway, a lot of really good colors for blending and evening out. So, because a lot of times with palettes like this, it'll you won't get those transition shades or the lighter shades to help blend. So anyway, I, th I thought this was beautifully laid out. And then the three matte colors on the bottom, you have a brown, a dark gray, and a black. And I used the black as my liner today, and I thought it worked beautifully. So anyway, I absolutely love this palette. As far as longevity goes, though, I am still on the fence because I've only used it a couple of times, and I felt like it didn't really last that long. But I'm going to keep testing it out because it could have just been circumstantial, you know, and not the eyeshadow's fault. <laughs> so anyway, next item in here is from Laura Geller. This is the Baked Blush and Brighten. And this is really big, by the way. I I guess I just didn't expect it to be quite so big. There is a tiny little like half mirror in here, which I guess could be useful if you're in a pinch. Um, but anyway, th so there's the, the blush itself. It's just a beautiful swirl of berry tones and glittery golds and wonderfulness. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's super pigmented. I do have it on today and it goes on really nicely. It blends out and it's just a really, really pretty, very flattering shade. I feel like anybody could wear this, you know? And I just, I'm really excited about this. Then there is a set of three brushes. I love when we get brushes, even though I have a million. It's not like I need more, but I still love getting them. So you can see you've got a nice fluffy brush a flat, denser, like the kind for like packing on eyeshadow, and then this flat top liner brush, which you can use in your brows or as liner, or even for like a more detailed eyeshadow look for like a crease cut or something like that. Um, you could even use it, you know, for whatever you want. Alamar Cosmetics, which we had a palette from them couple boxes ago, I think, and the palette is gorgeous and beautiful and wonderful. It is a new brand, and I was happy to see these brushes in there, and so far, I really like them. Okay, and then the next thing in here is from Hank and Henry. Hank and Henry, I had to look this up because I was not familiar with Hank and Henry, but that's why I love getting these boxes because you get introduced to new brands, right? So Hank and Henry is a guy who, I guess, he's... He's been a makeup artist for like 13 years or something, and he's huge on Instagram. He even has a YouTube channel, and he started his own makeup line not that long ago, and has an amazing array of beautiful, vibrant, colorful products. And so this one is a liquid lipstick, and I like the packaging. It looks like it's going to be a regular lipstick. In fact, when I first got it, I kept trying to take the lid off like this. <laughs> It's a screw off little liquid lipstick though, so that I, I got fooled. But, <laughs> but anyway, um, I really, really like this. I am wearing it today and the color is gorgeous. It's super pigmented, a really nice formula where it doesn't feel super drying at all. You can get away with just a thin layer because it is so pigmented, so it doesn't feel like it's caked on your lips, which is very nice. And I just, I just really, really love it. I've been wearing it for the last three days and I have zero complaints about this. It is mostly transfer resistant. I would say, you know, I put it on and I kissed my kids and they had like a little outline of my mouth, but it wasn't like lipstick everywhere. And after eating, of course, there was lipstick everywhere. I don't, I'm like the messiest person in the world. So, but anyway, I'm really excited to learn about Hank and Henry. And um, now I'm following them on Instagram and YouTube too, so that was exciting. <laughs> this is the last product. This is from Butter London, and this is Stroke of Wow Roll On Precision Liner. I was fascinated by this because I had not seen anything like this before. Evidently, MAC 
and I think maybe L'Oreal came out with a dupe or something, has a similar liner like this where there's, it looks like a little, a little teeny tiny pizza cutter, you know? It's got a, like a roller on there. And let's see if I can do this. You just kind of roll it and you get a very skinny line of eyeliner. And I just, I thought this was genius and fascinating and wonderful. Turns out though, I have a really hard time using it. It could be one of those things that's just, you know, it's a new technique, it's something I need to get used to because I do think it's kind of cool, but the actual formula of liner is not good. <laughs> it's just, it's just not good at all. First of all, when I was putting it on, I didn't even get it in my eye. It's not like I stabbed myself in the eye, but it was really close to the edge and it stung my eyes like crazy. My eyes were crazy irritated. So that's not good. If you can't even get it anywhere near your eyes before it stings, not okay. And also it peels off. It's that shiny, it doesn't dry down matte. It remains shiny and it peels off and comes off in chunks. It's not, I hate that kind of thing because I can deal with smudges way better than I can with peeling gross patchiness. That's not okay with me. So this I will not be using. In fact, I'm probably just gonna end up throwing it away because why would I give that to somebody when it's so awful? Sorry, Butter London. Good news is though that all of these products are cruelty free, so yay BoxyCharm, way to go with that. And I loved everything else. I'm super happy with all of these products except for the liner, which is a bummer because I do love my liner. So anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this month's box. If you got any new, or if you got any different items that you thought were wonderful or maybe a different shade of something. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.